the batteries are charged, the sky is clear and the excitement is here. Because today is December the 13th and this means it is the peak of the Gemini meteor shower. Welcome in Italy and the location I have chosen for this uh, special night is uh, Laghi di Fusine. Here we have two beautiful alpine lakes and uh, I'm going towards the second lake because it has a little bit better uh, view towards the mountain range. And uh, the idea is that I actually won't shoot a panorama here, at least not a full Milky Way arch, but uh, instead I'm going a bit for a, let's say, intimate scene. So uh, we will head in the forest and uh, after a few minutes, we will reach the lake. There we will try to find a nice composition. The conditions are just perfect. There is a bit of ice, but it ends a few meters towards the middle of the lake. And uh, I already think I made a mistake because I left the spikes for my boots at home and it is incredibly icy. So I'll have to be extra careful when I come back later in the evening. And uh, now the most uh, challenging and the most important part Let's try to find a nice composition. Okay, I think I can relax now a bit because the intro was quite hectic. It was around sunset and uh, the light was just uh, turning into darkness. And without the light, it is impossible to do any scouting. But I was able to find, let's say, three compositions. One with some grass in the foreground, one it's going to be purely reflections and the last one is gonna feature some rocks as a foreground element uh, and in the sky we will have orion right somewhere up there in the middle there is another image i want to capture here tonight and uh, that one is across the lake maybe you can still spot a meadow over there and at the very end of that meadow there are two buildings uh, i'm not quite sure what those are maybe some cottages or barns, who knows. But uh, I know they have a lot of character to it, so we're gonna head back uh, there. But uh, not right now, because we will have to go back to Slovenia, because I have another image in my mind, and it is going to feature the mountain right up there, and that is Mangard. We were up there in the autumn, Actually, we were on a peak on the right side next to the Mangart and uh, yeah, it's uh, going to be nice to get more images of this dominant place, this dominant mountain. So let's go back. 20 minutes later, we are at Predil Pass. And thanks to Sony A7S, we can actually see something. Now, directly in the middle, we have Mount Mangard. And the supernova remnant I'm after is Spaghetti Nebula. I got inspired by this nebula when I saw the image my friend Carl James captured. Of course, I have seen uh, Spaghetti Nebula in the past, but uh, I don't know, this was the first time when I said 
to myself that it could actually be a great deepscape object. So uh, let me set up the gear because Astro Darkness will begin in 10 minutes and at that time the nebula will already be in a perfect position. This is my setup and it is Astro modified Nikon Z6 with Samyang 135 f2 lens. For tracking I'm using Fornax Light Track Star Tracker and this Star Tracker does not have a built-in battery so I have to use an external battery source like this small power bank. I am already shooting the landscape and I'll probably take two or three images to stack those so I can reduce a bit of noise. Once uh, that is done I'll start shooting RGB data and I want to capture around 30 minutes. And uh, the last thing is going to be H-alpha data and uh, I am aiming to capture around 60 minutes. At least uh, that's what my friend Carl recommended. So, Mr. James, I'm putting a lot of faith in you. So far I saw quite a few nice meteors, so I decided to uh, set up my meteor capturing setup. And this is uh, Nikon Z6 and 11mm fisheye lens. And uh, I will simply just register all the meteors in the final image. Both setups are now running, so here is my 11mm meteor chaser just below the road i have my deep scape rig and there in the distance is mangard above mangard we have a constellation of auriga and spaghetti nebula is located just below it The activity so far has been quite mild. I saw quite a few nice ones at the start of the night, but uh, after that I could say it could be better. The nice thing is we have Orion now also visible. done with this location so let's head back to the lake i could easily describe this place as a winter wonderland it's quite cold and maybe you can see that the snow is uh, blinking because everything is basically frozen. Looks like we are getting close to the buildings. Finally, because the walk was just a little bit longer than I anticipated. So for this scene I will use Move Shoot Move Nomad and I have two lenses with me. I'll start with Sigma 28mm art and then I'll move closer towards the building and I will use Wiltrox 16mm 
I just kind of want to get both pictures because with the 28 millimeter lens I will get a bit more tighter composition and I'm not quite sure which one will work the best for this particular scene so it's the best to capture both and uh, I'll uh, decide later looks like I will have to put the laser in my pocket because uh, this move should move laser does not handle low temperatures very well so it's quite tweak oh. I hope uh, the camera captured this one it was a nice meteor and another one I hear some voices in the distance and uh, earlier I saw some lights I think there are some hikers returning back down Wow another one just right of Orion I forgot to switch the lens from autofocus to manual focus so I have to retake the landscape image now this looks much better and uh, maybe even the composition is fine I think I won't change a thing maybe I would uh, move a bit towards my left side but uh, then I would create a big gap between uh, the buildings and Orion so maybe I'll just stay right here now I'll take the exposure for the sky I'm not sure if I was expecting a bit more but uh, the activity overall tonight is really not that high I hope uh, it's gonna pick up in the following hours I moved a bit closer to the building and I swapped the lenses so at the moment I'm shooting with Viltrox 16mm lens I already took the exposure for the landscape and at the moment uh, I'm shooting the sky and uh, once I'm done with that I'll use my star glow filter done with this one too so let's go to our last location and we're gonna spend a few hours there what an interesting tree it reminds me of crystal song forest from world of warcraft We've reached our final location and uh, Orion is at the moment a bit too much towards the left side so uh, I'll have to wait a few more hours but uh, I will set up the tracker regardless and I'll simply track the sky and uh, fingers crossed I'll catch a few nice meteors if not that's okay too but uh, you know it would be a nice uh, little addition to the final image after all it is the peak of Gemini meteor shower a small challenge looks like Polaris is not visible from, from here because uh, we have forest blocking the view so I'll probably use uh, photo pills to align and uh, I'll do some adjustments if I have to
I heard this strange, I don't know how to describe it, maybe like a whipping sound all around the lake throughout the night and I had no idea, basically it just happened again and uh, then suddenly it happened maybe four or five meters away from me and it's basically ice breaking. Man, if you don't know what it is, it sounds uh, freaking creepy. This is a definition of perfection for me. Winter constellations in the night sky, snow covered landscape, just beautiful mountains. And you also have nice reflections in the water. Okay, I think it's time to end this. Batteries are depleted, gear is frozen and I'm running on fumes here. Will I get an image with meteors? I honestly have no idea. I checked the images on the screen of my camera and I maybe counted 5-6 frames with meteors. So I have no idea if I'll include those in the final image. But uh, what a great way to end 2025 and uh, speaking of 2025 thank you not only for sticking with me tonight but throughout the whole year your support means a lot to me and uh, i can't wait uh, for 2026 now this is it uh, for tonight thank you for watching take care and uh, bye bye I didn't come home with the sky full of meteors, but under Orion, in the cold and the quiet, the night still gave me something special, and sometimes that is more than enough.